Um, Tales of the uh, Tales of the Empires trailer review a uh, reveal. So, um, I it looks it's it's with that Clone Wars um animation that I like. Mm-hmm. So, and I don't mind Tales of the Jedi. I thought it was okay. I enjoy the Dooku episode. Here's but... here's here's my thought on this. I am a huge Star Wars fan. I'm an absolute nerd. I grew up on these movies. Um, yes. And when I say Star Wars, I mean original trilogy with the prequel trilogy, Clone Wars, and then like maybe Rogue, Rogue, and Rogue One and Rebels. Like I like that as Star Wars. 7, 8, 9, Solo, like the newer stuff. I didn't really care for that. It's None of it's good. Tales of the Jedi. Um... I did enjoy it. Like you said, the Counter Group episodes were very enjoyable to watch. I think the Ahsoka episodes were kind of a letdown. I think the biggest thing, biggest problem with these is that they're shorts. Yes. They want to tell this like Ferris Afi. In fact, I actually told my brothers before I even knew about this thing when I was watching the Ahsoka show. I said, well, what would have made the Ahsoka show better is if they would have made like that Inquisitor that, that was I, chasing her. I thought they should have made that Ferris. Yeah. And I think that would have been a great storyline that Disney could have done. But instead, they didn't. And now they, it's going to yeah. this. And now it's going to be shorts, and you just can't tell They're a story. Probably going to kill see... off. Exactly, and honestly, I don't really care. I don't even know what her name is. That one lady with like the spear or whatever. Yeah, I don't I care about her. And like, like who who did they I, say I that they're going to focus good. on? Because like you know, you had two, you had two characters that they fo- well, they really they focused on G- Dooku, but you know, you had um, Leo Neeson's like Qui Gon Jinn, you had Ahsoka, you had Anakin, you had. Obi Wan, but who who do you think that they are focusing on in this series? It's well, clearly one of them is the um, is oh, I think they're friend. Both. I think I think what they're what they're doing is they're going to do the same thing with Tales of the Jedi, is they had three episodes dedicated to Ahsoka and three episodes dedicated to Count Dooku, okay. and they're going to do the same thing with this one, and they're going to have three episodes dedicated to whoever that spear lady is. I don't care about her, and then three episodes to Barris. Yeah, but. I mean, like this I, is I this is probably the darkest thing so far from Disney, at when it comes to Disney, to Star Disney, Wars, yeah, yeah, and with Star Wars, though this like and uh the what's the show called that's coming out the, uh it starts with an A. I can't remember the name. Oh, yeah, acolyte, acolyte, acolyte. Uh, yeah, that looked like that trailer is disappointing, and um the post Disney looked, Star Wars. The post Disney Star Wars, cool. Star Wars needs to stop making live action shows star wars cannot do live action shows they suck they had a good thing going with mandalorian for a while um but i think that kind of went downhill i think they kind of dragged it on a little too long yeah um boba fett absolutely sucked um give me a start on that Ugh. i think andor a lot of people like i like honestly andor. it kind of it, it kind of bored me a little bit as far as it's, like, it, it's so it, much conversation it's a but, slow but yeah but it was a good show thing. Yeah. Like when I when I tell people with Andor, Andor was a good show as a show. When you yeah. try to attach Star Wars to it, it wasn't good Star Wars. Yeah. I, I had as a, as a as a Star Wars fan who loves Star Wars. I I was so hyped for that show and then just kind of got disappointed with it. Yeah. As as a regular its own thing, I thought it was done really well. Um but as far as Star Wars, it just it didn't give me the Star Wars feeling. Yeah. Star Wars is in a weird place and like the accolade stuff could have been interesting. That poster with the like the lightsaber and the blood. I was like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. that's pretty cool. Next I see the trailer, I'm like, what? Yeah. Exactly. I thought that like I thought this was gonna be from the like the Sith's perspective. No, it's just from the Jedi's perspective. Oh, okay. And it doesn't make any sense when you when you think of uh the prequels when uh what's his name says we haven't seen a sith for thousands of years and this takes literally like a thousand or so years or i'm trying to think of what of the timeline but it takes it takes place in the high republic era and it's yeah. like so we already know what's going to happen in that show is that everyone's going to die whoever sees that sith has well, to that's, die that's if disney follows the storyline probably not they, they probably won't. Like, if you think of Kenobi, what they did, again, you know, bringing politics into it. Reva, who oh. could have been a great character, instead they forced it on her. The whole thing about Star Wars is that nobody knew where Luke was. Yeah. And nobody could know. And even Obi-Wan at the beginning of the show wouldn't even tell a fellow Jedi who he was because he needed to keep it secret. And at the end, he ends up leaving an Inquisitor, someone who 
works for the Jedi. Because she's a woman. The savior, the guy. If, if he was exactly. a man, if they he don't was a man, stay true they would the kill story. Him. Exactly. They don't take, stay true to the story. Instead, they try to make it all political and stuff oh, and i think time. that's what's gonna i think acolyte is gonna do the same thing they're not gonna stay true to the star wars story instead they're gonna try to make some character and give well, that and, female character and the whole i don't know if she's the i think she's the director or showrunner show or whatever she, um i forget her name but there was this interview i saw with someone that is working on the acolyte show and she came out and said like it's about damn time for a woman to t- uh take over uh, like to do something she got fired the- Oh, did she? Nobody wanted to see her. Nobody oh, wanted okay. to see her. Because she she would like her whole thing was like she had that interview. She's like, I enjoy making men uncomfortable. And she's like, she forced it so hard that fans But they're still releasing her. the things that they uh, that she yeah. worked on. Yeah, because it makes money. But she got what? fired. <laughs> and she, is yeah. she like the main like director or whatever? What was she? I forget yeah, what she, she was. She was the writer director. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's she. They fired her, but we're gonna still release it because we put money on it. Um, exactly. Exactly. Even though you're not gonna make anything back because it's going straight to Disney Plus. Um, <laughs> I I don't I don't get that mindset. They should have they should have scrapped it like Blade and took it back to the bill back to the board and rewrote it. And so. But yeah, whoever says stuff like that really gets on my nerves because it doesn't matter of your freaking gender or sex, whatever it is now these days. I don't know what's going on, Um, but eh, just put out good product. I don't care if you're a woman. It's like it's like me saying as a man, it's about time for a man to bring something to to mean girls. Yeah, I don't understand. You see it all the time. Like I said earlier, like, you can have a great character with, you know, great black character, great female character. You look at Quentin, Tino, Quentin Tarantino's um, Kill Bill. Fantastic female character. Very strong. Nobody wanted to mess with her, right? But it was an original character, which is why it was so good. When you try to replace a man with a female character, it just never works. Yeah, It just doesn't because they're they're replacing a beloved character who's loved by everybody and trying to make it fit a very small number of people who believe a certain thing and it's yeah. just it doesn't work and they lose money that way yeah and i'm hoping that you know what hopefully what biger biger bob Iger is doing which we're not going to see for a couple of years um he is uh, from what i've understand what he's doing he's I'm liking the direction that he is taking Disney. He's reverting Disney back onto its original route, which I'm I'm hoping that we start to slowly see that in some of these Star Wars projects. Like, I mean, like we already heard him that he's cutting back on a lot of projects and slight and silently cancel, canceling some projects that had not even been announced yet. And so hopefully um, that we start seeing that, especially with Star Wars. I mean, like, I'm hoping that this Empire Tales of the Empire store, uh, whatever series it's going to be, is good because I like the Empire side and I always wanted something from the dark side's perspective, um, because that's just cool. The darks, uh, what's what's what is that from? Join uh, join the dark side. It's pretty cool. I forget what that's from. Um, but yeah, I. I'm and you know Darth Vader is seemingly to make an appearance in it, and I've always wanted like a show from Darth Vader's perspective. I think that would be cool, but I think at the state of Disney, what they're in right now, they would don't do it. Yeah, they would. They they botch it. They just won't even do it because uh, exactly. they know because they're scared. Like if they mess it up, they would get a lot of backlash because Darth Vader is such an abhorrent character to the universe. They just exactly. need to get out. And again, again, I think another another reason these aren't going to be amazing is because like the Barris, the Barris um, storyline has a lot of potential. And with Darth Vader making an appearance specifically in that, if it's you like watch he Clone st- Wars, he tries if to you stop watch her. Clone Wars, Anakin Skywalker before he became Darth Vader is actually the one who arrested Barris. Yeah. And when she's the reason she's in, he's the reason she's in jail. And now he's in charge and he has, she has to work for him. And that's a great storyline. Yeah. A lot of potential. I hope they Instead, don't make it. I don't hope they make her know that he is Anakin. I think that less, because in the, co- again, um, comics don't matter because you shouldn't have to read anything. But in the comics, there's a storyline where these clone troopers know that Darth Vader is Anakin and he kills them instantly because yeah, I, he doesn't want anyone to know that he, his true identity. 
I don't know. It's I think it's just, it's just Disney Star Wars again. I think this has a lot of potential, but one, it's sh- it's shorts. You can't fit a whole lot into shorts, and if you no. try to fit an entire storyline into shorts, you're gonna ruin it because it's just crammed. Um, yeah. But well, Disney it does have know. potential. It does have potential. I will be watching it because I'm a I'm, I love Star Wars. There's, I wanna, there's and a few I Star Wars things that I haven't day. touched just because I don't I don't care about it. But this one it looks decent enough for me to care about it. Yeah. Um, like, I and mean, I'm curious I've, to see what they do. I've seen every single Star Wars show. I think I I haven't. I, I haven't. It's seen. the Marvel stuff I've been up and down with. I haven't watched Echo. I haven't watched Miss Marvel. I haven't watched that though. I haven't watched Miss Marvel. I think those are the only I things I've watched. Um, <laughs> Loki said, "I haven't." As far as shows go, as far as Star Wars shows, I haven't watched. I've kind of watched Bad Batch. I haven't watched all of it. Oh, that's um, that's that's the one I Star Wars watched, thing. I haven't I, watched I, Ahsoka yet. Like yeah. all of it, I've I've seen a few episodes, but it just didn't keep me interested. Yeah, it's the bad batch that I was thinking of. Like the only thing I actually have not watched. I've watched the fir- I've watched fully of the first season. It's so seen, bad. I've it's seen so bad. parts of the second episode of the second season, but majority of those show of that show is just filler episodes. I'm like, this is I'm and the next it's babysitting. It's so bad. I'm like, I don't it's care. It's so bad. And Omega like, is the worst character ever. I just She's find so her annoying. annoying. Like, <laughs> She's so annoying. It takes place in an interesting time that I actually been asking for. Exactly. I, I want I want to see I want stuff. to see the clones transfer into the Empire. That's an amazing story. Instead, what they do, what they should have done, and they did the same thing with Rebels. And Rebels turned I out all Rebels. right. But what they are starting Too to focus kiddie. on is a certain group of people. Mm-hmm. Same with the bad, you know, bad batch is the bad batch. And yeah. this era, this era is such an important era in Star Wars, and so many fans want to see this era. But what they should be doing, instead of focusing on a group of people, they should do more like what Clone Wars did. Have your main characters and have them in most of the episodes, but you, you have, have random episodes where well, they're not can, in it. And it's yeah. just about the war, and you have different missions with different characters, and it's just you're watching the war happen. And yeah. that was why Clone Wars was such a big hit. You could like have, you had your main characters. You can have this, you can have a show from the Empire's perspective, like the Clone Wars. And next, you know, it's like, okay, well, we don't want to be fully evil. Fine. All right. Make then make our main characters slowly realizing what they're doing isn't actually what they were promised to do. And so, like, we're seeing, like, that's what we're slowly seeing with, like, Cody, from my understanding, and like some of the clone troopers that are still alive, like, they're mm-hmm. slowly turning sides. It's like, that would have been interesting to see if that was actually a full on show focused on the empire from third perspective, like the clone wars, but no, it's just like, eh, I think it would be cool. Like if you had like three different characters, right? Like three different Imperial officers or whatever, and they all go on their own paths, right? You have one that realizes the empire is not what he thought it was. and goes and joins the rebels. You have one who's like a very loyal to the, the empire and ends up being like super high rank and like ends up being like on the second death star or whatever and you have the third one who ends up like being betrayed by the empire and his throws in prison or something you know have an interesting show and with different storylines and different characters not just yeah. following one character who does the same thing every single episode I, yeah i just feel like, like I, it's just bad it, i feel like every episode is like a like a deja vu exactly and so, exactly um, I, I hate deja vu i hate sick of trying to remember something i already watched um, exactly. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see the full on podcast, I'll leave a link in the description below. And you guys can also check us out on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you guys want to, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the topics as well. So leave a comment on it. And um, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys enjoyed what you saw, hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of other stuff on the channel. As a reminder, this is a monthly upload on the Big Talk with Austin, and this will also give you guys the opportunity to submit some topics to us that happen throughout the month. So if you guys want to do that, go check me out on Twitter and follow me there. Tag me whenever something interesting pops up that is movie uh, movie reviews, movie TV shows, any like pop culture related type of stuff. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.